For those of you who thought that this campus was nothing more than a giant snowball just sitting in the middle of the city, here's living proof that the sun does shine on the University of Calgary campus. And for those of you who are concerned more about studies and really could care less about the weather, my guest today is Carl Smith, academic commissioner, who is in charge of putting on uh, student union workshops. Now, these workshops have been going on for, say, oh, the past three years. Basically, what they do is inform students and help students uh, with courses such as math, economics, computer science, courses like that that are always really difficult. Students always need a hand with. Anyway, Carl, thanks for being on the show. And I just wanted to get you to run down maybe uh, uh, the workshops you're going to be doing this year. Thanks for the wonderful introduction there, Tony. Hey, um, that's my job. Well, this year we're trying to expand our scope of our workshops this year. And mm -hmm. uh, traditionally, we've had computer science workshops and math workshops in Math 211 and Math 251. Ah. But this year, we've tried to increase the scope of our workshops. And uh, sure, let's see some posters. We've got some, some, some stuff here. First of all, we, we've already started running the computer sh science workshops, and they've increased the scope and breadth and width and meaning of their workshops. <laughs> As you can zoom in on this here. Okay. Okay, can you see that? <laughs> well, as you can see, they've, they've got an introduction to Tomaltex and, and Unix. For all the students that have never been on a terminal before, uh -huh. profs don't like to teach that sort of stuff, and so they just tell you to go to the workshops instead. Mm -hmm. I understand and there's going to be a charge this year for that? Well, yeah, there is this year because um, the Computer Science uh, Undergraduate Society have, have gone up to a big effort and expense mm -hmm. to produce for people that go to the workshops, manuals like this, which basically has got the same material as their course that they give, uh -huh. as, a, as a hard copy, as they would say in the, in the language. Right. So um, and uh, there's a cost associated with printing these up, and a lot of effort's gone into this. So and that's where the cost goes to, That's basically. where the cost goes okay. to. Okay, sounds good. Uh, the workshops, who are they done by? Uh, okay, well, it's usually done by grad students or fourth-year students or people that know what they're doing in, in the subject. Mm -hmm. uh, Hopefully by people that have actually done lecturing before and I've been Good. to the ones this week and they were very well done. The comments were extremely positive as to the presentation and how relevant the material was and um, students really like the idea of the manuals because they can take it to the terminal and, and give it a try and remember sure. what they learned in the... That sounds all right. All right, well thanks Carl. I think, uh, I think it's beneficial to almost all students if they attend these workshops. It's something provided by uh, Students' Union and uh, it's, it's sort of indirectly a free service. And it's really a good service, a good idea, and uh, gives you some students' union some uh, exposure, I guess. Can we talk about that stuff? Yeah. OK. Now sure. we've got some more stuff, too. OK. Um, student counseling is putting on study skills workshops. Uh -huh. I think for a lot of high school students that have come in and um, uh, find that perhaps that their uh, studying habits uh, are not the best because uh, it's a different different mm -hmm. type of school. Mm -hmm. um, these, um, University Counseling Services and the Academic Commission are putting on uh, workshops in uh, how to get the most out of a lecture, mm -hmm. stress management and test anxiety, um, time management and preparing for exams. Mm -hmm. And they'll be running in two segments. Uh, there'll be some on Tuesday, October the 2nd and Wednesday, October the 3rd. And uh, that's for the people that want to get these done before their midterms. And uh, <laughs> um, and then there's another section for people that find out after midterms that they're not doing so hot. Also, right. we've been talking to the Accounting Students Association, and they're putting on workshops for Accounting 321 students just before the first midterms. Oh, great. And that's Don't the first it. this year that, that the Academic Commission is very proud about. And right now, we're still trying to get our math workshops together, but it's hard because um, there's no club on campus to represent math students, and uh, it's been hard work trying to find people to do the workshops themselves. Okay, well, speaking on behalf of all those students who aren't doing so well in math, uh, wish you all the best in finding somebody for math. Anyway, thanks, Carl. So just look around campus for all those posters and things. Uh, please try to attend if you're having any problems. I'm sure it will be beneficial to you. Uh, thanks again. So I guess from uh, behind Mac Hall in beautiful, sunny uh, campus of the University of Calgary, this is Tony Reno with uh, Carl Smith.